Scorpio, I'm Annie Rose with PsychicFuture.com and this is your horoscope from the 17th to the 23rd of September. So we're now nearing the end of Virgo season and we're on the cusp of moving into Libra season and the point between these two signs is the autumn equinox. So that falls this weekend actually and this is a time of abundance, it's a time of saying thank you, it's a time of harvest like people in the past, they would have been cutting down their crops and you know reaping the fruits of their labour. They would have been looking to see how far they've come this year, um, how much that they have made, how many hurdles they've come over, and how much they have in their lives. And what they would have done after that is had a great big party and celebrated to say thank you to nature and to the gods for bringing them these crops and for feeding them and for supplying them with the food that they need to get through the darker half of the year. So this is a really good time for us still, even though we live in a modern world, to get together with friends and family and to really celebrate in some way and to share some food, share some drinks, have a dance, have a chat. Just really connect with people and just kind of let down our hair a little bit because we're now moving into the darker half of the year where the nights are growing longer the days are getting shorter and this is a time of going within and kind of being quieter and having more inner wisdom and healing and regenerating in a way so for you in particular it's going to be an extra special day because venus is in scorpio in your sign and this is going to actually kind of recharge this weekend for you. It's going to bring a lot of passion and it's going to make you want to really share your um, inner being with other people. So if you have thought like that, you you know, maybe we're going to spend the weekend by yourself or, you know, pottering about doing things solo, then try and just see if you can add something that is connecting with another person or with many people or just going out, going out for dinner, having a dinner party at home. Do something that is going to really get you feeling like you are sharing your inner being with other people because Venus in Scorpio is all about like connecting on a really, really deep level. It's like very watery, very um, emotional kind of energy. And what it will do is it will actually help you to learn something about your inner being as well and this kind of darker, um, more quiet, more wise, the, you know, like represented by the hermit in the tarot. It's like very like... Um, quieter inner person that is going to come out and it's going to feel a lot stronger when you connect with other people so instead of you know going within so much so that you keep to yourself this weekend try and connect that with somebody else try and you know get together with people and just share what you have within you the love and the passion and the um, thankful gratitude that you have for everything in your life right now you know like maybe if it helps to write a little list of things that you're grateful for this year that would really help um, just say thank you basically and giving something back to the people that are in your life so uh, in particular this autumn equinox the sun is conjunct mercury and it's also conjunct ceres which is an asteroid and the goddess Ceres is um, representative of agriculture, family, motherhood, femininity, and this kind of inner wisdom that we were talking about. So it is a very abundant time of year. And if you've had a little bit of a rocky year, you've had some hurdles that you've overcome, now is the time to be like, okay, well, you know, at least I'm still here. I'm still, um, you know, I've still got people around me, I've still got a roof over my head, I've still got food on my table. So I'm going to say thank you for that and I'm going to focus on that now because that is the nature of gratitude, really, is looking at the things that you do have in your life rather than focusing on the things that you don't have or the things that you haven't achieved because we've all had a little bit of a tough year and it you know there are certain things that for everybody they'll be like well I wish that I'd done that or I wish that I'd got that or wish you know all of this stuff but but that's not the right attitude at this time of the year this time of year is all about giving thanks and you know sharing the abundance with other people so even if that means you know extending outside of your own personal like family group if that means like donating something to charity taking some cans of food to like the homeless shelter like just doing something that signals uh, back to the energies and back to the seasons and the gods and nature that we are really thankful for the abundance that we're provided in this life. So in the nature of Goddess Ceres, I've got some lovely Goddess Oracle cards here. So I'll pick you a card for the Autumn Equinox. So let's have a card for Scorpio for the Autumn Equinox. Oh, wow, okay. 
that one wants to come out. This one, the Knot of Isis. Part of your spiritual destiny involves a special relationship with the goddess. This means that not only do you have the important spiritual task of helping her thrive in this world, but you are afforded her power, protection and abundance too. You are now deepening your connection to the goddess. Wow, that's lovely. So actually this is um, almost exactly like what I was saying really. It's this um, knowledge that you have a lot of abundance in your life and that you want to share and you want to help and you want to um, connect that energy with the people around you rather than keeping it to yourself. And actually this is saying that it's part of your spiritual destiny to have that uh, kind of connection with other people and to share that abundance and to... Um, yeah, you have the important spiritual task of helping her thrive in this world. So bringing about this gratitude and bringing about this kind of spiritual appreciation for life. This is like the nature of the goddess is, you know, everything like feminine and nurturing and, you know, bringing in magic and inspiration and these kind of things that you apparently have the spiritual task of doing. So yeah, if you can get together with some people and make them feel uplifted, then that's it. You're doing your spiritual task right there and having a good time while you're at it. So yeah, have a lovely autumn equinox. If you need some extra tips, I've got a blog post up on the Psychic Future website that will give you a little bit more insight into the equinox period. And yeah, come back next week for Libra season. Much love, Scorpio.